Yeah, he got a big smile on his face tonight. <laughs> it might end in two hours when this movie ends. Yeah. No, yeah, no, I, 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 well, I wish him well, you know, but, uh, but he's, you know, 43. It's kind of like, eh, what's, what is 43? It's not 40. It's not 45. It's like 43. It's a, uh, you know, it's it's a forgettable birthday. I don't even remember my 43rd birthday. I got on the bottom, on the bottom, on the bottom right now. On the bottom right, I'm the only one on the bottom. Yeah, well, this, but well, this is these are kind of moments that you can compartmentalize a little bit because they don't really happen that often. Like Jason said, it's really about focusing on the work, and and that's really the most important thing. And that's really what ends up taking up most of your time. Stuff like this is fun for it's a couple hours, and then you go home. Actually, like I, you know. I remember do working for Coppola in 1996, and and his wife Ellie would do behind the scenes, and she did Hearts of Darkness, the the, the Apocalypse Now documentary, which is so brilliant, and she was doing behind the scenes on the movie that I worked on, and and I just that was where I started thinking about it. It's just a really wonderful thing to document, because really interesting stuff happens on movie sets when you're making a movie, and and uh, and so. So our argument always was that any movie would be really interesting if you documented it because there's just so much, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of decisions that have to be made really quickly and there's a lot at stake creatively, you know, on, with each of those decisions, so. Yeah. 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 You're the last one I need on my question there, Dylan. Can you sign up please? I missed you by five minutes. I was in the bathroom when I...